Okay, so that's UI alert view. The second alert way to get the user's attention is with what's called an action sheet. So uh, we need another button and we can call this action sheet. And like before, we need to create a, an action from that. So action, and we can just call it action sheet. Okay, and here's our method down here. So creating an action sheet is almost exactly the same as creating a, an alert view. The difference between a, 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 an alert view and an action sheet is the alert view, you get a pop-up. The action sheet, you get um, essentially a new view uh, extending from the bottom of the screen. Okay, but the way to create them is is almost exactly the same. So we start with the class name, so UI Action Sheet, and we give it a name, My Action Sheet equals UI Action Sheet alloc in it, and like we saw before, we get a number of different init options. Uh, we're going to use the convenience method here, init with title, delegate, cancel button. Okay, so it's almost exactly the same as the alert view. So the first thing is to pass it a title, and again it's an NS string. Action sheet title. And again, like we did last time, we're just going to say nil for the delegate at this stage. Cancel button title. We'll call it cancel. Now, one of the differences between an alert view and an action sheet is this option here, destructive button title. It also it takes a string, so we can call it whatever we want. Let's just say destroy me. And when I run the application, you'll see why the destructive button title is different from others. Uh, other button titles, we could say, like before, we could just simply say OK. But again, it's other button titles, so you can have more than one title. OK. Close off the method, semicolon. Now, like before, uh, just creating the action sheet is not enough. We need to actually write some code to show it. So on the next line, we call our instance my action sheet, and then if you type sh, you will get a number of different show methods that do slightly different things, but the default one really is show in view the last one there. So we'll, shoot, we'll choose that. And this takes a UI view as its argument. Okay, now the view, this is our view. This is the view for our screen. So we can simply type in here self.view. Close off the message. Okay, so we've created our action sheet, given it a title. We're not going to have a delegate, so we're not passing off any tasks to other methods. We've got a cancel button, a destroy me button, and an OK button, and then we're going to show it. Okay, so if we run that. Click that, and that's an action sheet. Okay, and so we've got our cancel button, which does exactly the same as what the alert view does. Did it allows you to get out of the action sheet without doing anything? 
Okay, so can, it just um, just dismisses the action sheet. Now you can see the fundamental difference here between these two buttons is that the destructive button title is colored red and it's red for a reason in that um, it's expected that if you select this option it's called a destructive button for a, for a reason it's assumed that if you select this button that you want to do something that can't be undone so in other words if you wanted to delete some data um, you would assign that task to this button okay uh, you, you can do that with this button here uh, but it makes more sense to to do it with something like this because the red uh, gets the user's attention so if you if deleting that data is a bad thing for the user to do or um, once they've deleted it they can't get it back again um, by using this style of button you really get the user's attention and say do you really want to do this um, think really hard about whether you want to do this okay so that's an action sheet uh, if you don't want a destructive button title as with the other options you can just say nil and then you don't get a red button you just get normal buttons and we could have another normal button something like that maybe later ah okay sorry I forgot the uh, comma So there we've got just got two normal buttons there and a cancel button okay so depending on the user the user case um, you know what you want the user to th to be thinking about to determine which button they, sh that they should press uh, will help you decide whether you want a destructive button title or whether you just want normal looking buttons like this so that's an action sheet I'm not going to go through delegation with the action sheet because it's exactly the same process as what we did with the alert view but you would simply change this delegate to, from nil to self okay and then there are um, delegate methods associated with action sheets similar to this method here so there are delegate methods that will capture the index value of the button that the user pressed and then once you've captured that index that button index number then like here you can then do something with that okay uh, in exactly the same way that we've we've done this like the UI alert view there are uh, delegate methods delegate protocols um, that you should implement so UI action sheet delegate so here you have UI action sheet delegate okay and so by conforming to this action sheet delegate you would need to implement a number of methods sometimes you have to implement those methods other times those methods are optional um, and we won't get into that now but just be aware that you can do exactly the same thing with this UI action sheet delegate as we did with the UI alert view delegate so you're you're passing off a task from this method to a delegate method in order to evaluate which button the user pressed and then doing something based on that button selection okay so that's action sheets and alert views and the final thing that I'm going to show you today is how to manually set up a transition to another view or in other words another screen now when we uh, first started the very first um, project that we created was what's called a utility application and you right, might remember but that by default the template that was created for us had a little eye 
that was automatically put on screen for us. And when we touched that eye, the screen rotated, it flipped around and presented us with what looked like the reverse side of the view. But in fact, it was a separate view. Okay. So that utility application, uh, by default, allowed us to push a button and transition to another screen. That was all done for us. What I'm going to show you now is how you can do that manually. So for example, in this application here, if I had another button down here and I wanted to click that button and go to another screen, for example, flipping around, um, that's, what we're gonna, that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. First thing we need to do is create another screen. So in other words, create another view controller. So to do that, we go File, New, New File. And make sure that we select Coco Touch. And what we want is a UI view controller subclass. Click the Next button. And we need to give it a name. So let's just call this Second View. And we want it to be a subclass of UI view controller. And we want to have the user interface, so this thing here, this zip file, we want one of these to be created for us, so make sure that this is checked. And you don't need to choose where it will go, because by default it will put it within our, within our project. So we just have to click cr uh, Create. And so now we have a new view, which is the zip file and we have a .h file and a .m file. Okay, So this is the second view that we're going to transition to. So what I'm going to do is go to the object library and I'm going to put in a navigation bar onto our second view. And you can see that it comes with a title double click on that and I'm going to say second view okay so that just tells us that uh, we're now when we run this we can tell that we've actually transitioned to the second view the other thing that I'm going to do is add a button and in this case I'm going to add a special kind of button called a bar button and that's a special button that goes inside one of these uh, navigation titles so you click and drag, and, it, and when you put it over the, the navigation bar there, you can see there's a space actually allocated for it on the left, or you can put it on the right. Let's just put it on the left, so drop it there. So now we have a title and a button to push. Now what that button is going to do is it's going to allow us to transition back to the first view controller. Okay, so let's uh, actually no, we'll uh, we'll connect this up to start with. So obviously, when we push this button, we want something to happen. So we want to trigger an action. Okay, uh, let's just change this st button style to done, which will make it blue, and then we'll give it a title of done. Okay, so usual thing, click, control click, drag, action, and we'll call this dismiss view. Okay. So let's go back to our first view controller to start with. Actually, let's show this so we know what we're dealing with. Right, so the first thing we need is a button to push in order to transition to the new screen. So drag out a button. And let's just call this launch new view. 